Okay, you guys, let's go ahead and continue our discussion on continuous random variables. So last time we were talking about some of the differences between like con uh, discrete random variables and continuous random variables. And we mainly focus on the differences between uniform, this would be uniform discrete, this is our probability uh, mass function, and our analogous continuous distribution function where we'd have our probability density function. And we ended our discussion with how we can equal, the probability of equaling a specific value is possible in our discrete random variable, but with continuous random variable, so let me just put that down. This is discrete, and this is continuous. With continuous random variables, the probability of equaling an exact value is zero. And then from here, I wanted to dive into a little bit more about some of the specific or the specific properties of the uniform distribution. So for uniform, if we wanted to get the expected value, we could solve that by just taking a or Let's actually, let's, let's put it in the same order as we see it in some of the other formulas. It's going to be b plus a divided by 2. And that's just basically going to give us the midpoint right in the middle of our continuous uh, uniform, dist or uniform continuous distribution. And then if we want to know the variance of x, let's put that up, variance of our discrete, of our continuous random variable. We're talking about continuous now, uniform will do continuous. If we want to calculate this, it's going to be b minus a squared divided by 12. Okay, to find the associated probabilities, we can either dive into our commander, and our commander will just give us uh, the probabilities if we look from a specific point, and then we can get the area to the left. That is still the CDF, the cumulative distribution function, just like we used it in the discrete random variables where the CDF was the probability of a specific value and anything below. The same thing is analogous with continuous random variables, the probability of a specific random event, zero, and anything to the left which we can find that probability. So that's kind of the nuts and bolts of our uniform distribution. Uh, we can do all sorts of different questions. We can find the probability uh, between two values, uh, but really we just need to know how do we know the expected value and variance. Um, for a uniform distribution, uh, we only need two pieces of information to fully define everything. To fully define this, we need to know the max and the min or what's normally called A and B. If we can get those max and min, we have a fully defined uniform distribution. And if we want to know the height of this, so what this point is on the y-axis, we very often see this function f of x equals, so this is actually our, this is our PDF, probability density function, and it's going to be one divided by and it's going to be b, uh, yeah, b minus a. Oh, is that right? Let's see. Yes, b minus a, and that's four. A is less than our random variable, which is less than b, and then zero otherwise. So our, our PDF, or probability density function, actually extends from negative infinity to positive infinity. And we're just saying that we only have an associated uh, PDF for a is, or for our, our random variable being greater than a and less than b. We only have area over these, this range. Everything else, the probability of the event happening is zero. So I hope that helps you out. If you want to see the specifics about how to actually calculate these, go ahead and watch uh, the software videos.